Hey, beautiful people. If you have a Elgato Stream Deck and you're running Linux, you're probably familiar with Stream Deck UI. Great piece of software. Use it for launching applications from the desktop. But when you use hotkeys with this, with OBS, you see what happens? You're going to lose focus on Windows. That's no fun. In this video, I'm going to show you a way around that. For this video, I am going to be making use of my Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gig. Now, uh, I tried to run it on the Raspberry Pi 0W, just didn't have enough horsepower, unfortunately. We're also gonna need a micro SD card. This is, they recommend something not, not incredibly slow, but hey, I had one 16 gig leg around, worked just fine. You're gonna need a reader, writer. This is my uni. I carefully selected. Totally wasn't the first thing that showed up when I searched for one on Amazon. Guaranteed. That's a lie. OBS WebSockets is the first piece of software we need to get. If you're unfamiliar with it, it allows you to communicate with OBS using IP protocols and all that fun stuff. But there is a pre-made package for Debian and Ubuntu. We're just going to go ahead and download that into our happy little download folder. And we're going to need to grab the image. Um, BitFocus Companion, they have a pre-made Pi image, and it does what it says. Copy the image, start the Pi up, plug the deck link into the Pi, and you're good, allegedly. We're going to try it out, but yeah, they do tell you that you might want to get a UHS class SD card. I don't know if that's necessarily uh, a deal breaker, but... Mm, Salt to taste on that one. Let's just go ahead and save that into our downloads folder as well. Here we are at the downloads folder. I have the tardod, well, just a image.gz and the Debian file. I'm going to go ahead and install OBS WebSockets. I have it installed, but let's go ahead and go through the motions. It's going to be using dpackage. We're using the terminal because, hey, it's Linux. Let's have fun. Let's hack the planet. Something like that. <laughs> Pseudo dpackage i OBS WebSockets and boom. That's it. That's all you got to do. Now we need to unzip the image. I'm going to be using gzipd. There it is. Now we need to write that to our micro SD card. You can use anything you want. I just use the GNOME Disk Writer, Disk Utilities. It gets the job done. There's one for Raspberry Pi, and I think there's a million of them. They're all going to do the same thing. But with this, uh, we'll restore... And through the magic of non-linear video editing, that will not take 10 minutes. And there we go. We got a free space, we got a root FS, we got a boot partition, and more free space. Yay. It's only allocated. All right. Let's get that plugged in, and we'll cut it on, and we'll know if everything works once the Pi boots. And there it is. That's with everything I have set up. But let's set it up. From scratch, I went ahead and cleared everything off. You're going to need to know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, so it's probably a good idea to just go ahead and set a static IP on that critter. Google it. It's real easy to do. Once we're logged into that, it's going to be on port 8000. We need to add a connection. That connection, as you might have guessed, is going to be OBS. Now we need to head back to OBS. We're going to go to Tools and down to our new thing, WebSockets, because we need to set a server port, enable it, enable authentication, and give it a password. Once we're done with that, we can head back over to the browser, key in the IP address of the machine OBS is on, give it the target port and a password, and the port and password can be anything you want. And look, there we go. Status is okay. Now we can have some fun. Buttons! Yes, it's, it's got a lot of great presets that it mainly what I use OBS for. Uh, the deck link with OBS is just to switch scenes, trigger the occasional source, but everything you would expect. Scene to program, scene to preview, everything you currently have, it will pull. It's drag and drop. Look at that. Drag and drop. That's all there is to it. Well, the easy, easy way to do it. You, you can do it the hard way, but hey, let's go ahead and throw an image. There's Jordan. We'll go ahead and remove the text. Ah, looks all pro. You can add buttons. That's another thing. You can have up to 99 pages 
and loss of mouse focus ain't one, but yeah, it's brutally, brutally simple to set up. This is what mine looks like currently for the shows. Page one is LGC. Page two is for when we do the game reviews, the chair acquisition. And, you know, single shot for LGC, myself, Jordan, Pedro, web browser, Steam update of the week. And this is for weekly daily Wednesdays. Yeah. You know, basically the same thing, but you can just keep going. You can get very, very creative with this. And I think uh, it's worth setting up. And I should also point out that you do not necessarily need a Raspberry Pi for this. You can run it on the same machine as OBS is installed on. I just do it for convenience with Pi because the image was there, set it up. But look at all the other stuff that is available. It's brilliant. You have a fun time with it. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like our Linux powered nonsense, tips and tricks, and all the other fun stuff that we get up to, um, like and subscribe, I think is the thing you do. Click on a bell on the YouTubes. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you want to throw some nickels at our heads, patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast, get access to some uncut episodes, uh, early access to a lot of content, and hop in our Discord. Come say hi. But most importantly, get out there and make something awesome.